Hey all you Tinseltown junkies, we are here once again to give you some Tinseltown talk. This week we're bringing you an exclusive interview with Hugh Jackman for the much talked about Oscar buzzed Les Miserables. Stole a loaf of bread. My sister's child was close to death. We were starving. You'll we'll starve again unless you learn the meaning of the law. Know the meaning of those 19 years. The slave of the law. Happy holidays. Right. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you, fella. You look great, too. I got to give you the salute, though. Yeah? Thank you for that early Christmas present. Oh, the coffee? No, the movie. The coffee. movie. I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> coffee? I don't drink coffee. I've never had a cup it. of coffee in my life. Really? I don't drink the stuff. You don't need it. Give me a Red Bull. I'm good, though. <laughs> But <laughs> I'm, no, the red, you, I'm, the, I'm the Red Bull man. But no, thank you for the early Christmas present. You killed it, man. This thank movie you. is money. Thank you. It's amazing, no, it's amazing it's man. A perp Actually, I was just talking with the director. It's like, it is a great Christmas movie because the movie ultimately is about all those themes that you think about love, hope, grace, redemption, coffee. It's all about all of that. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if it's about much coffee, but uh, you probably had to drink a few cups because uh, you went through it, man. You put yourself through the you, challenge. To be honest, I love coffee. I was off coffee for the entire thing. Why? Coffee, caffeine dehydrates you. And when you're singing for 10 to 12 hours a day, you have to do everything to keep that moist and like a rainforest. Wow. So, yeah. so that helped the voice. Stay That's away from the caffeine. You got it. And you guys actually did the singing live. Yes. So that is true. It's 100% true. Wow, uh, what, what difference is that It make? is 99% true. The okay. very first scene, when I'm in the water with all the prisoners, oh, yeah, that's a little hard to there was no microphone. That <laughs> that's the only thing that is, okay. ev everything else is uh, on the floor on that day. But what does that add to the value of the movie going experience by singing the songs live? Les Mis is really uplifting, emotional kind of piece of material. And it's all sung through. So as an actor, we were just free to, like on any movie, go with the moment. It, if you did it the traditional way, you'd, you'd record it in a sound booth three months before you even met another actor. Uh, so, and then you have to match that. So it's like having handcuffs. So this way we can just just keep it fresh and keep it real. Yeah, it was amazing. I, I just love the way you put yourself through with the character, man. It's just every single scene, every single frame, you're just like exposing mm. yourself there's, at a different level. There's no easy scene in Les Miserables. There's no, no, not, there's not no at all. like, oh, we've got the walk and talk today, or <laughs> dinner party scene, here we go. No. And it's all very powerful and emotional. Yeah. You know, it's good stuff. Now, it's a beautiful story. What's the very first musical you saw, hmm. and what do you remember most about that experience? Man of La Mancha, first musical I ever saw at, at my high school that I was going to go to. And the lead role was played by Hugo Weaving. Yeah, who went to my school, who people will know from Matrix and many other movies. So, uh, and then I went home. My dad also bought me the record. So I went home and I listened to it like a hundred times to dream, the impossible dream. And I really loved it. I, I love, always loved going to the theater and my dad was a good man. He, I'm not sure how much he loved it, but he would always take me. Wow, amazing. And when did you first know you had the ability to sing? Because that's what sells this movie, because it's, everyone is so natural with it. Yeah, it's, it's I amazing. mean, I've been working at it for 20 years. I've been doing theater for 20 years. Uh, I, I sung a lot when I was a kid, and then I went through a period where I didn't sing a lot. Uh, and so I got back into it probably in my 20s, and I've been having a singing lesson every week ever since. Please tell me you've watched it with an audience. I've watched it not with a big audience. No, I watched it, and I, I, I can't gotta, wait. Gotta, I'm waiting gotta, for the gotta, premiere. Gotta, you got to do that, man. Thank you you got to do that, man. Thank the you. audience is on this. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to see that. I watched it with my wife and a few close friends, and my wife said to me, goes, I love it you're holding my hand, but it's hurting, because I was gripping it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's a good thing. It's your wife's birthday today, so happy birthday, birthday to your wife, and thanks a lot for the early Christmas present. Sure, movie is man. amazing, fantastic. You're a good man. Nah, so are you, man. Thank you, buddy. Congratulations. All the best. I didn't ever think that anything like this would happen. I mean, it, it, in my head, I thought, what a great idea if somebody actually went in there and did a musical in a, in a, in a gritty, realistic, gr very grand way, um, which is an odd thing because you don't think of, you know, something that's grandiose and gritty at the same time, but this is the sort of material that can take that.